The Embarrassing Episode of Little Miss Muffet by Guy Whitmore Carroll. Little Miss Muffet discovered a tuffet, which never occurred to the rest of us, and as was a June day, and just about noonday, she wanted to eat like the best of us. Her diet was whey, and I hasten to say it is wholesome, and people grow fat on it. But the spot being lonely, the lady not only discovered the tuffet, she sat on it. A rivulet gabbled and babbled beside her, as rivulets are commonly thought to do, while dragonflies sported around and cavorted, as poets say dragonflies ought to do. While glancing aside, for a moment she spied a horrible sight which brought fear to her. A hideous spider was sitting beside her and most unavoidably near to her. Albeit unsightly, this creature politely said, Madam, I earnestly vow to you, I am penitent that I did not bring my hat. I should certainly otherwise bow to you. Though anxious to please, he was so ill at ease that he lost all his sense of propriety, and he grew so inept that he clumsily stepped in her plate, which is barred in society. This curious error completed her terror. She shuddered and growing much paler, not only left the tuffet, but dealt him a buffet, which doubled him up in a sailor knot. Now, it must be explained that at this he was pained. He said, Madam, I have vexed you, no doubt of it. Your fist like a truncheon. You're still in my luncheon, was all that she answered. Get out of it. Now the moral is this, be it madam or miss, to whom you have something to say. You're only absurd when you get in the curd, but you're rude when you get in the 